Hey, people, I'm fixing to blow your mind. I got a lot of new information. I'm going to change a little bit of the old. But I've been working with this Septuagint. I'm going to try not to say that too much. Uh, I'm going to call it the, the bind of the double X, a.k.a. the LXX. It includes a lot of texts that weren't in the Hebrew Bible and added later and some that weren't added. And uh, it's called the the 70, the LXX, because uh, they say there were 70 to 72 interpreters. But that's a lie. Everything on this page is a lie. The only thing that's true here is that it was translated in Alexandria, Egypt. It wasn't translated from, from the Hebrew, the so-called Hebrew. It was translated directly from the hieroglyphs off the wall. So what I did is I uh, I put it side by side, back to back, like a mirror image with the Hebrew. And uh, it really helped to decode the Hebrew. You're going you're gonna to recognize a lot of words on, on the Greek, but that was still written before the language changed. The words you recognize are what's been changed since then. So using this same Hebrew letter meaning chart, I laid uh, the Greek letters beside it, and there's just two extra letters that, that make it a little easier. It, it just, uh, that side just means to come after the fire. It saves a letter, and it saves from sending a false code. And I put the plant for the X in the cycles for the N, because that's the main thing that the book's about, is plants and cycles. And the rest of it lines up pretty good. I think I had to move the Y up to to get the Z down to the seventh letter and everything else lined up. So this Hebrew starts with the word brashit and uh, that comes from your wor root word brash. It, uh, it's what stands out. It, um, the first thing you notice when you get mugged, you call the police and he's going to come and he's going to ask you uh, what, what, what'd you, what, what he look like. You know, he's not going to ask you what color he was. If you're white, you're going to say, uh, he was black. His, his, that was what was brash about him. That's the first thing you noticed. He had a red shirt. He's not going to, the cop's not going to ask you, well, what kind of shirt, what color was his shirt. He's going to ask you what you noticed. So you'll tell him what was brash, what stood out the most. So that B-R-A-S is in the first knowledge to consume is what's brash and it's in the first knowledge to consume the work seals in bara and uh in the first knowledge and the alahim to learn to bind the works from learn the writings of the shemim uh been interpreted as the heavens but it's actually uh, the writings of the rainbow of colors. And then it says, and learn the writings of the art, the A-R-X. And that's that R-X is Rex. That's, that became the king. It's the, the knowledge, the E-A, the, the, the knowledge of R-X, the knowledge of the king. And I knew I was going to have a hard time understanding the rest of this until I found those writings of the knowledge of the king, the knowledge of Rex. So you see the first line in this Greek, it was the cover page. And it says, the first thing it says, E-N, the seed. And uh, the seed is the, the smaller writings, the what you're looking at, what you read is seeds of the A-R-X-H. The knowledge of the king's wall. That H is divided or the wall. It's a divider, a fence. The seed knowledge of the king's wall. And then it says the potions of the O to see Theos. And the tone of the Oranon, the key of the Tengen. So uh, what you see on the right there, that's what the, the cover page or the front page of this book would look like. The, the seed knowledge of the king's wall. Then you see that E before potions. 
and that that e is the same as a hebrew it's just letting you know if the next letter behind it is a verb or a noun so if the e wasn't there the p would mean to open but being the e's there it means that the p is a picture the pictures to see the work to divide the sin the the fire life cycles and the sin is also uh when you open it with the code, the code of ISIS, it means the sin is uh, the, the, the stains, which were the drugs. Then the I is to see, and then the Theos, that's been interpreted as God or gods. But uh, that's the Tet E, the collected life. And the OS is hieroglyphs. You'll find it all the way through. And it's reference you to the hieroglyphs. And so what it's doing is it's reference you to the the Alahim. Uh, the Alahim is the pose that the gods are taking when they're seat when they're seated in uh, in Egypt. I showed in earlier movies uh, how they'll resemble the Alahim. That and the A would be the chair, and the god would be the L, the bind, and they would have the the life in one hand and and uh and the him and the other and so what this is saying is the collected life to, to the of the hieroglyph and so they understand that the difference in uh in what he's wearing and what his hat looks like and what he's sitting on is uh is a different chapter is it it's a different chapter of the book it all has a meaning and they understand this and so what it's saying is the potions to see the theos, the 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 writings that you're looking for, the ton to seal the light, and uh, and this is actually the the thub. That's the thub is the knot of Isis. That's that picture in the middle of the book. There, it's called the knot of Isis, and uh, and that represents the coming together. And then you'll see the aura non there. The aura is as a uh, light or uh, to see the connecting of the first knowledge and the end, the cycle. And the O-N is, it means light. Same thing as O-N means on your light switch today. You can notice that uh, our language isn't much different at all than, than the Hebrew or the Greek. It was all the one worldwide language. It was just a different interpreter with a different key that pulled this off the wall. And then the key uh, it means and or it means connected. It uh, Everywhere there was a vav in, in the Hebrew they replaced it with the word key. And then this tenjin. This is uh, you can you can take this ten the thn is is teachings. Teachings of the jinn. It, uh, it means the writings to divide the cycles, the writings to divide the seed. And this jinn is the foot, the foot wall seed. And, uh, and that means everything that was written under the feet. And that was given the meaning of earth. It also means to lift the divided seed or to lift the divided cycles. And uh, that's where the word the jinn come from, the the evil spirits of the earth. And you could see in 1817 when this tomb was uncovered that everything below the foot wall was destroyed already, was removed. And then under the foot wall would be the jisu, the 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 under the the s o u is the fires connected in in the Greek. Anytime you see fires, they're always coming from what's under them. It's S-O-U means under. And that would be the Jisu was the floor, the Pisces, the, the feet. Uh, the, the Hebrew, the, the under would be S-U-B, the fires connected in. And, uh, and it's all the same book. It was just uh, a... A different time and a, and a different person copying it. So you can see in that little box that I expanded it, 
It's got the I, the O, to see. And then uh, that throne symbol of, uh, of Isis or a set. And it means the knowledge to consume, the A-S, the knowledge to consume. And the little bun there, that was the T, the writings. And, uh, and then, and then you see, uh, the, the plants there, uh, the little R above it, the same, same R as in the Hebrew, and then the plants, the royal plants, are the, to see the knowledge, to consume the writings of the royal plants. The, the king's knowledge was all underneath there, it's been removed. So this thub was later changed to ton by the Latin, and uh, and it was mainly just because this knowledge wasn't for everybody; it was for the kings. And uh, and the little thub sign, it kind of evolved into this this ton. So the ton didn't even need to be there then. So this Celtic cross would would mean would replace the word ton, and it wouldn't even have to be on the front of the book. And it meant to, to seal the light. And it took the place of the thub, which was, uh, which was the, the center of the universe. It was, it was where everything comes together. It was Thuban. It's where your word hub comes from. It's the center of the wheel. And you see this Vav here that looks exactly like the, uh, the Hebrew letter Vav, the, uh, the connecting pin. So I color-coded uh, Genesis 1, the entire chapter, and the Hebrews on the left and the Greeks on the right. And uh, and here's the first couple lines, and it really helped me see that uh, it, it takes a lot more in the Greek, and it's, uh, it's a different book, and it totally reads different on the top. It doesn't line up until the third line. And what, what it let me know is this this was called ancient Hebrew was was the ancient worldwide government book. It was given to all the legal offices around the world. All the uh, all the kings and government officials had it, and uh, they didn't have all the codes. All the codes were in the different government buildings and in the tombs, and depending on your rank, what what buildings you could go in as to what codes you could have. And uh, and with everybody having these books, if the king wanted to send a, a message overseas with just a couple little scribbles on a, on a piece of paper or, uh, or, or an animal or a couple letters on the side of a boat, he could send a huge message to somebody who had this knowledge, to an alchemist that understood how to read it. So what you have on the left is the the book of Moses, the the Barisit Moses, and what you have on the on the right is the book of Genesis. It's in the in the genere of Isis, and uh, and Isis was the serpent. She was the sister wife of of Osiris, and this is where you get your word sister today. Genesis and sister all come from Isis. So all around the world we have many creation stories and all of them have a serpent in them and all of them are true and even though Egypt had several different creation stories they're all true they all have a meaning. So you see all throughout the Bible that they give this word mixrim the 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 name of Egypt the land of Egypt the from the knowledge of the kings of Mizraim. When you question it, they'll say that Mizraim means the land of serpents, and uh, that's not true either. What it says is, from the knowledge of the king, from the serum, from the plants first to work from, from the serum. And so uh, this land of Mizraim was, uh, it was sitting up there by Tibet. It was way over there on the other side of India, and uh, and it was known for its medicinal plants, and they had a whole total different creation story over there. So they recently uncovered this ancient city there, 
and it was said they had no written language but the the story this shaman tells say that uh, that God created the garden and he placed the serpent in it to guard the tree of the knowledge and the tree of life and this place got to be known for the land of serpents being it was covered with serpents and so uh, so the shaman they were watching this this serpent and and they noticed that he was different from all the other creatures that uh, that he didn't work off of instinct it from his his facial features they could tell that he was a creature of reason and they knew that they could reason with him so they uh they taught with the serpent and the serpent taught them all about the uh the the tree of of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life and taught them all about the medicines and uh and he told them that they too would evolve into into serpents and they would they would soon have the job of guarding the garden and that's why those two words sound so similar so uh when the ancient stories talk about the serpent it doesn't mean evil it means one that works by reason and thought so they studied the serpents and they studied the plants and the deal with the serpent was they could never write this down. So it was all to memory. And they would put it in songs and odes. And, uh, and it would be coded in, in the scales of the serpents. In places where people wouldn't know but the, only the serpent handlers would know the codes of the serpents. So when this land was invaded one of these uh these green cat snakes had slipped off into the indian ocean and he swam on down around to uh up the red sea up to kemet he took all this knowledge and he put it all in artwork all around egypt he put it all in stone and uh and not everybody could read it only his sister wife isis and so uh, he taught Isis all about the, uh, the serpent knowledge and she wrote the code books. And so I, Osiris, that would be where your word Saurus come from and that gives the meaning of the words. And so the brother Set that cut him up, that's Saturn, Kronos, that's time. And being that this was all... Uh, all coded in astrology as the times change and the stars change it had to be split up into seals that could be could be moved for the times so that would be the idea here in in the wall of the degenerados and they're blowing the life back in Osiris and so this knowledge is uh is gone on for no telling how long the kings still have this knowledge today. They're this one world government. They make you think to to be in fear, but it's all one world government running things. They bomb each other. They they take care of population control. It's like George Carlin says. It's it's a private club, and you ain't in it. So this is all coded throughout the Bible in in parodies. And it's the same on the wall that they copied off of. It was parodies. And they told you that that meant paradise. But it's spelt plain out in, uh, in the Greek. It says parodies. And uh, it's split all throughout the Bible as parodies. And it, uh, it's a book of law. And it's a, a book of, it's a book of God. It's the book of all the laws of the, of the earth and the, and the stars. And you can see it says here in, in Psalms that that's the Al hymns, the, the songs, the knowledge to bind the hymns. And, uh, and this, this word meaning serpents here, it's, it's noches, it's nights. Buenos noches, good, good night. It, uh, 
And so it says the, the fires of, of Beset. The Anan is the cat. That's, that's Beset, the only cat they talk about in Egypt. And, uh, and the cat's job was to bring together. And, and uh, anything that has to be brought together, you go to the book of the cat. And so the fires of the cat are the, are the claws. And, uh, and so it's, it's a parody. And this is, this is a clause, just like a, a, a clause in a, in a legal document. And it says to bind the sun from to the camo of the nights, and it's uh, and it's talking about this serpent in this in this picture on the bottom. And he's got the camouflage of the nights of Egypt. He's got a dark sky, and he's got a sand-colored belly. And the and it's and it says the real name of Egypt there, Kemet, the camo of the nights of Kemet. And then you see the to to see fold the fire connected in that that's the Hebrew meaning under S U B fires connected in everything that has fire coming out of it is underneath the fires travel up the language isn't that far off from our language today and then every time you see that that T uh, it it's always it's always talking about Toth, the teacher. It wasn't, Toth wasn't a god. Toth is the teachings. To consume the picture seals to make the waters connected. And waters is, is matter. Waters is the, is everything. Waters is the sunshine. It's, it's what the subject you're dealing with. And in this subject, it's the wind, the, the waters, the waters that, that move the boat. It's the matter, and it's telling you, uh, it's telling you that the, the whatever line you're reading the Bible that sent you this code of the Alehem, the Psalms 143, and it's and it's telling you where where to find that code, and it's in the sail, and you have to learn how to read the writings in that sail, what those lines in that sail mean. So back to this Greek here, it, the first line it said, the seed knowledge of the king's wall, the potions to see the theos, the, the collected life hieroglyphs, the writings of light, the ton, the writings of light are the thub of the oranon, the, the aura of the cycles of light, the, the rainbow of light, to connect the it, the tinge. If you put those two together, it says tinge. And this was uh, these all these words are separated. This is pretty close to the Hebrew, but the words are separated in different places. And uh, and it still has a couple meanings, even though it was, it was mainly opened with the key of Isis, the key of the chemistry, it has uh, the chemistry in it and uh, astrology in it. So this second wall, it's, it says the H, the second line, H, the wall of the degeneratos. And that's where we got our word, the degenerates. And that was, uh, that was, a, that was a, uh, a meaning that was put on it. That, that word, that's not what that word means. But it, that D is through the, through the foot wall. It means the writings under the ones that were destroyed, of to divide the H N to divide the cycles, of the knowledge to see the first knowledge writing of the hieroglyphs, the the orator, that would be a good book to read the orator and the first orator was uh, was Pata, and uh, and that was the children's book that was teaching you how to begin to read the hieroglyphs and then it says the the key to connect the akata school astos we see that's hieroglyphs on the end that os and so the akata that uh, that would be the knowledge to give the data when uh 
when when you would see uh, the word data down there, that means through the data. The ATA is what we would think of as data today, the knowledge of the writings to learn, ATA. The SKU. The SKU is, uh, is the way all those hieroglyphs are all mixed up. SKU is a word meaning meaning not parallel and, and not intercepting. And in, uh, in, the, in the book of the Oratos would teach you how to read the SKU of the Astos, the knowledge to consume the seals of the hieroglyphs. The key of the Skotos, that uh, was given the meaning of, uh, of darkness in, in the Bible, but it actually means shades. Uh, the Scots are the shades, the shades of the hieroglyphs of the piano, the piano, and uh, and that was the ancient piano of the Egyptians. And it's just like ours today. It uh, it's got the the twelve frets between each octave. It's got the same seven notes and and five flats seven white keys and five black keys and it's all shaded with the scotos for the codes then the next line it says the the teachings to the seal or uh, the writings to divide the fires of the abuso and i guess that's what they try to tell us is abyss but what it really says is to learn the house of the connected fires the connected fires that's the constellations the divided fires would be just the single stars and the connected fires are the constellations that you are looking at in the piano and then it says the Sioux under the the teachings to learn the houses of the connected fires under then it says the key numa and uh and that's was the the spirit or the wind but actually it says that that's where your word name come from to connect the 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 pictures of the seed life to connect the water's knowledge and then it, you'll see the theo under that and that's what it's saying is uh is the collected life to see connect and those were the twelve gods, the the animal beings that were standing around. Those were the the theos, and it's telling you to pick out the one theo of the fretto. The that's where your word preferred come from, or your fret, the the picture life to come after the first life seals to see, the frets of the piano. Then it says two udatos, and uh, and where you where it says a t learn the writings in the Hebrew, it usually says two or a tu, and if you read those those last two letters before the 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 third to the last letter, it sounds more like you would speak English. It would say to see the connected writings instead of the writings to see connected. And then the udatos, that's what they give the meaning waters. But uh, what that says is to connect through the knowledge of the writings, the Z-A-T, to connect through the knowledge of the writings of the hieroglyphs. So we put all that together in line one. It says the seed knowledge of the king's wall, the potions to see theos, the to seal the light of the heavens, to connect the teachings of the foot walls, to divide through the foot wall the divided cycles of the oratos, to learn the, the hieroglyphs, to connect the data of the skew of the, the, the hieroglyphs to connect the shades to the piano, the teachings to learn the house, to connect it under, and the names of the God 
of the preferred on the piano to see the connected writings to connect the knowledge of the hieroglyphs. So just like the Hebrew, these first two lines are instructions on how to use the book. And then it starts uh, on line three. So I got a bunch of pictures downloaded. And uh, I'll get on this. I've been up all night. I haven't slept. And uh, we'll do both sides at the same time. It'll really trip you out what it says. So uh, I'm going to get some sleep now. I'm going uh, I need y'all to help me. I need everybody to share this. And I need everybody to send me a dollar. I ain't hit a lick in five years. I've been studying this language. So everybody hit that PayPal button up on my page. Or I'll leave one underneath here. And drop a dollar in it for me. And uh, I'll get this weekend up. I'll get uh, another movie up. And we'll go through the rest of these first ten lines here on both sides. All right, folks, God is love, God is light, God is knowledge.